Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can resume and pause training in the Autolytics Hub. So we have this new cool cloud feature where you can basically just train your update section, segmentation models, post estimation model, and so on with Autolytics Hub. We have the whole pipeline, the whole training pipeline in there. You can upload your own custom data sets. You can set up projects. You can choose which of the models you want to use from Autolytics, and then we can just hit start training directly inside the hub, and they will use their cloud to train your custom update detection models. When it's done training, you can export the model, use it in your own application and projects, or use the hub inference API as well. We're going to see how we can pause and also resume the training. So let's say that you train your model for 10 epochs and you want to pause it for some reason, or you want to go back to previous models and resume the training. I'm going to show you to do exactly that. So let's just jump straight into the Autolytics Hub. We already have videos covering like the whole training pipeline, how you can upload your own custom data sets. So right now, let's just go inside the data set tabs. We have a bunch of data sets in here. You can in even integrate it with RoboFlow as well. So we have these car parts where we can both do segmentation and also update detection. And then I'm going to show you just one of these examples, but we have tons of data sets in here. So right now, let's just go inside the car part. We're just doing segmentation on each individual car part. So that could be like the back door, front door, windshield, back bumper, front bumper, and so on. So we have all of these different classes. We both have a train validation and test set. So now once we have our data set, we have videos about how to upload the data sets, the specific format and so on for the different tasks. So once we have our data set, we can just hit train model. Then we get this view up here. We can say like the project that we want to use the model for, and we can also specify a specific model name. Now now we can choose the architecture that we want to use for segmentation. So these are the variations of the YOLO V8 model. Right now, let's just go with the nano model. We'll get a quick overview over the accuracy and also the inference speed. Now we can go down and set some model configurations and then depending on the number of epochs, the image size that we want to use, patient and so on. But we're just going to go with the default settings right now. So once you're ready, you can just hit continue. And now we get some options for running it with also the cloud. So we will do all the training for you. So now we have the whole computer vision training pipeline without writing any code of all. You don't even need to go in and connect to a Google Colab notebook. Everything can be handled within the Autolytics hub. You can also choose if you want to use Google Colab or bring your own agent. But right now, let's just specify this as 20 epochs. You can also set it for a timed period. And right now, we just have this NVIDIA T4 available and we're going to use my balance here on the Autolytics Hub account. So once we have that, we have our data set, we've chosen the model. Now we want to train with Autolytics Cloud directly, no code, we just hit start training and it will take care of all of it. It will just take a couple of minutes and then it's going to start the cloud instance, it's going to start the training. We will log all the metrics live when we're actually like starting the training. So right now we can see that we can hit stop training up at the top. Let's just let it run for a couple of epochs. Then we can hit stop training, go out. We can always come back again, resume the training. We can just keep pausing, keep resuming until our model is done training and then we can export it using our own applications and projects. So now we can see that our model has trained for three epochs. We can see all the live metrics down here, the precision, recall, mean error position, point 50 and so on. So that is going to lock real time while it's training with Autolytics Hub, but also if you connect to it in the Google Colab notebook. So right now we can both see the metrics. We can also see the loss if we scroll a bit further down and our data set overview. But let's now try to stop the training and then we can always resume it again. So right now we're going to stop it, stopping cloud training. It's going to save all the checkpoints, the model weights and so on. So that can be loaded in later on if you want to resume the training. We can now see we have the resume training button down here at the bottom, but we can also, also go into the models. We can see all the models that have trained inside the Autolytics hub. So you'll be able to go back and see all your models. You will see the mean error position and also the size of the model you have trained. So that is pretty cool just to get an overview over the different models that you're trained. And right now I have a bunch of models disconnected. If we go into the, this one here again, this is the one that we just ran and that we paused. So now we can just go down and hit resume training. There we go. It's going to set up the cloud instance again. So then it's going to start the training at the fourth epoch and we'll be able to see the metrics from the first three epochs as well. And then it's basically just going to continue training your model until it's done training. You can also stop the training, use the model and so on. So that's pretty cool. Right now, we're just going to stop the training again. We can go inside the charge preview. So our model needs to be fully trained before we can get the preview, use some test images just to see how our model performs. And once we have done training as well, we can deploy our models with the Autolytics Cloud API or export our models. But we have videos about covering all of that. So definitely go in and check those out. But this is a cool feature where we can now go in, pause and resume our training and we can basically just choose when we want to train our models. We can also have multiple models at the same time. So thank you guys for watching this video here. I hope you have gotten some insights into the different features that we have in the Autolytics Hub, especially for the cloud training. So definitely go in, check it out, train your own models in there, and then I'll just see you next video, guys. Until then, happy training.